Oi. Wanna play some Uno? Yeah, I'd be interested. Sure. Come on. What you doing? Um, so do you want to play a standard or a, a couple of house rules? Because I got a few more to, to make it interesting if you want. Okay. All right, that could be interesting, yeah. Okay, so the general house rules that you're probably familiar with, um, stacks on, so mm -hmm. if you've added plus two to a plus two, you get plus four. If you add a plus four to a plus four, you get plus eight, that sort of thing. Draw until you can put down, so keep going until you've, you, you can play a card. And then there's um, sevens and zeros. That's always a fun one. So seven you trade with whichever person you want, and zero you you go around and give it to the person next to you in the direction that the game's going. There's jump ins. So even if it's your, not your turn, if you've got a card that's identical, you can stack that on. Uh -huh. So if that's too easy for you, we can add in some extras. Okay. All right. Well. Um, to make the zeros more interesting, there's this thing called roundabout, where um, if you play enough consecutive zeros that it goes back to the person that originally started the chain of zeros, they have to pick up three. Mm -hmm. um, there's a ones rule, where ones essentially work as a pick up one. Um, but you can only stack what is equal to the amount that's already been stacked. Uh -huh. So, if I place down a one, and then you place down a one, that will now be a plus two, so I have to add, add on a two. Oh, really? And then yeah, after that, okay. it'll be four, so you have to play a four. I have to play an eight to respond to that. And then it would be 16, which you'd need a one and a six to play, but uh -huh. which is very unlikely, but it's possible. There's the LOTAD rule, where if you have two blue cards of the same number, you can place those down uh, in the same turn, and you will summon a LOTAD. And um, while one person has a LOTAD down on this, side of the board, the other person can't play any blues until they also summon a Lotad, which will cancel out Lotads. My personal favourite rule is the red Bakugan rule, where if you have three consecutive numbered red cards, for example three, four and five, yeah. you get to put down three uh, Bakugan metal cards and then roll a Bakugan if it lands. The other person can't play any red cards. All right. The only way to contest a Bakugon is by playing a yellow card where you'll be given the opportunity to get rid of it. The way you get rid of it is you close your eyes and try to flick it flick it off. Um, if you successfully flick it off, then, you're, um, then the Bakugon and the cards are removed from the table and you're free to play red cards. Again. That's, that's eccentric, okay. There's the nice rule where if a six card is followed by a nine card, the person who receives the nine card has to wear the fabulous goggles. Um, there's not really any penalty, you just kind of look um, questionable. Mm -hmm. And my final rule is uh, if you have two green nines, somehow you put them down, the other person has to stand on their head. It's a little different, but I reckon it can catch on. So you want to give it a shot? Yes, I think I got most of that. We'll be fine. Let's go. Cool. You know, I'm starting to think we might have a bit too many rules. I mean, I don't know, man. I think this is going pretty well. Yahtzee.